So it may sound ghost, but have you ever wondered why some Ghanaians enjoy the fecal matter of some animals? Yes, in their soups. The fecal matter of bush meat. And that will be the focus of our discussion in this edition of Food Chain. My name is Prince Apia, and I'm so glad you joined us for this edition. And I hope you enjoy the discussion. This is Abna Kunedu. She has traded in bush meat for more than 20 years here at the popular Atumunum, the hub of bush meat, close to Kumasi Central Market in the Shanti region. <laughs> Abna is part of more than 20 traders at the hub. Here, bush meat is the major trading commodity for the women. It is the main bush meat collection center in the heart of Kumase in the Shanti region. Comfort Bedu is the leader. And for sure, we did be brave. Sadi eni, if you don't know, sadi eni. Sabi, who are diabetes? I would be di. Who are pleasure? I would be di. And so, when pen and monocrash, I would try to be di. I can't just now dry no. Yari eni. Ni choni de nyami ada wama yetro papa ni papa papa. Cause we send them to Bia Sonsone ho.
When the bush meat arrives here, an audit is done before a butcher singe the fare of the creatures over an open fire. Then it is hauled. The carcass is over to the nearby slaughter slab where the butchers treat and cut them into sizes. All the wild game that finds its way to Achum are already dead. <laughs> Professor Felix Engman is the head of food science and technology division at the Kumasi Technical University. For him, the manner the meat is handled is a challenge. Then we need a lot of education. Yes. And um, usually we have to look at how when they are harvested. That is um, through shooting. Some use traps. Others use um, some awkward, bad means of uh, harvesting them. And some use uh, poisons like DDT. They spray it on the vegetation that they feed on, and then uh, they eat and die. But we shouldn't forget that such chemicals get through into the meat that we will consume. So eventually it comes back into the food chain for humans as well. And that is not the best. Um, there are some few farms that farm these um, uh, game and they have very advanced means of um, rearing them and then actually preparing them for the market. So the harvesting, that is the first part. Um, and the way it is harvested also um, has quality and safety issues as we move on to the next level of uh, preparing it for sale. As usually what they do, if the animal is shot, they will go ahead and then uh, cut the neck region that is the, through the jugular vein so that will lead to bleeding. And this is very important in terms of getting the blood out. It helps with the quality of the meat. And then it doesn't end there. They will have to go on to what we call eviscerating. That means removing the internal organs. You would notice that um, most of the ones that we see along the highways, which these uh, vendors sell, most of them have just been harvested. The um, throat region has been cut. They have bled the animal. But they have not eviscerated, they have not removed the internal organs and then they are selling. We don't know how long normally it takes before someone buys it. Um, another safety issue that comes in is where the internal organs are still intact in the animal. Yes, it has effect. It reduces the quality and then um, issues of safety, microbial growth increases because the internal organs, particularly with the gut, the, what we call the intestines, harbor a lot of microorganisms and that can um, affect um, the meat. Then after eviscerating, it has to be washed. The question is where they normally uh, apply their trade. There is no good water there after the eviscerating to wash before they go on to remove the fair. Okay, and the, the ways they do that, normally they use fire to burn the fair off. Uh, that also there is a challenge there some use firewood which is good uh, but now some are using car ties which emit sulfur and other dangerous compounds onto the uh, the meat the venison and these we do have to check in ghana alone the bush meat industry generates about 135 billion dollars in revenue every year for many, eating bushmeat is also about keeping traditions alive and maintaining a culture of living in harmony with the nature that is rapidly being lost. You understand now, when we say, "Oh, we are a chase, we are this year." Pa, what you say? I'm not a man. I'm 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 a 
what and num and no money ni bring in a yidi. No a jim quen kama. San nam no zudia oh ruins the opi powers. Mammy de na mo de mem pe because me next in catch me say mammy and I'm and this uh could see mune a mune de mem pe num the word in room no cry man yeah natural in room num in tea omun room ring in our man yet natural no a in room and ra in in round so and near the in room in this uh omega high omi in a way they are high they are hygienic so all room num because of its natural it's an pin room num me shut down pen and be a senior room, num senior room, num. And oh dear, me am who is a yardia, me pet, me sooner, who is a me pet, and to my name, and to your mother, my room, num, dear, a yard dear, no more media, a pen, a mempe, who say, room, num, a day. What the young quire taste womb, a chan fish, no, and in tea, and a mamma pay room, num. Kana sa aklanti e se unya aklanti e na udi ni bini ni njira de yam kwa ah udi ya uti asie se udi fu. Ewe mna mje nambia ana ovia unya ya huo di wumpati tu aklanti e eno kwenye e nambia mi pepa ovia amani ya huo di tu ni bini kura au di ni bini bongwa ya na gokura ma puti spa ba uze yes bibia wewe udi. Ewe mna mje mepe. Especially I can see say niyem 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 kwa yapa ni bini no the way it tastes it tastes good ana udi kwa the way basi ajo onsa hong kwa na bitu wa hong kwa onsa bitu tu three days you see I feel it I mean the sense of apa who we are can't why we are can't see fulu we are not the chale me pepa ni inti ya me peru me na mano eh se se oche we are kwa na we are no more na we are na kasa sa yare. The Omea Mobi, I bet me a case say, Oh, we are a one dear one, a special like Nema Unia Free Maya Hon in Druno, a different from Sabia, a boy, Yayan, who fear and say, Bibisa. But the only thing I remember, quite in Sabia, Remnamo, a Bukunu or Quanson, because I bear say, Oh, we are Babua. Remnamo, dear Mamma, said Ampe, because of my religious beliefs in Tino, I said Mampe. Because I believe, say, those who are not hunting, mommy, and they are not in a mommy pain room. I'm telling you, be glad. Maybe, because at the only say, in most any room, at the more taste beer than I can am no home. Tell me any day, to me, Papa. Room, I'm any any my beer. Me, yes, I'm a pet, and I say, I'm a pet. Me, I'm merry. Me, I'm so so. I'm okay. Sundays, na ya, me iru wa daji o iru ni ane mami. Se ni bush meat ya. And the or 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 the no one want to cry. The pangenga say a crantie. Maybe a way you need to know the Afro unquano. And the now we come here. But conservational ecologists is worried about the exploitation of the wild. In a country like Ghana, people eat all sort of things, from bats to reptiles. I mean, within reptiles, we have people eating crocodiles, people eating snakes, people eating tortoises, to the large mammals as elephants. So when you categorize some of these animals in terms of their movement or in terms of their exploitation within the bush meat chain, let's take, for instance, the elephant. The elephant is listed on the IUCN red list as endangered. So it basically means that it is also on the verge of extinction. And so if people go to hunt the elephants, then it means that it's going to cause the elephants to be driven to extinction. The IUCN monitors and does inventory on biodiversity. And currently, I think they have assessed more than 140,000 species on Earth. And they estimate that about 40 percent of species are being driven to extinction and when you look at some of the major species that are highlighted we have 41 percent of amphibians that are likely to go extinct and i think 21 percent of reptiles and uh, about 28 percent of mammals so if current activities of exploitation continues who knows within the next 20 years most species will go extinct and the critical 
functions that they provide in the ecosystem like helping to boost agricultural production, helping to control disease pests, they will all be left out like that. And there are so many consequences apart from the fact that this trade is driving species to extinction. Um, I know we can um, relate some of the consequences to the spread of zoonotic diseases. And a classical example is the novel coronavirus that we are still battling with. Because most of these emerging infectious diseases, they've been linked to wild animals. So about 60% of these diseases are linked to wild animals. And so it is likely that bushmeat activities are driving forces behind some of these emerging infectious diseases. And we all know um, the consequences that have been on us as a global community with this coronavirus. So I think it is an area that we have to have a very critical look at because if you don't tackle it well, you are affecting livelihoods of people. At the same time, the health of the public is at stake. The welfare of animals too is also at stake. This is a crisis. We have a bushmeat crisis as a country and we need all hands on deck. Everybody has to play their role. We can't leave this crisis to only the government to tackle it. Because as individuals, we have a lot to lose and to gain from our wildlife resources. Consumption of the bushmeat is loved by many. Not always because of the meat, but how long the aroma stays on you for days. This is because of the stomach content of the carcass, or what some say is the fecal matter of the bush animal is added to the soup. <laughs> You're still watching Food Chain with me, Prince Apia. At this point, we shall visit Martha's. She sells all manner of food and she's going to take us through how she prepares soup with the fecal matter or the feces, for want of a better word, of bush animals. Stay tuned. Me pacho we jini jini garik aki kedru a ma brandi ni na afra jini pacho me ti biato me silver ni na we insu ye ti tomatoes me pacho me divi beka ho. Hey, Adriani, I'm a toy for four and more. I pay better than the door, not pay for four. No, for four, no, so 
and no kind of coffee period, no moon quino. Or chain, or chain, I didn't even a young quina, ha, no no more pepper. Tell no ne and quine drew, quad answer, quad unquana me, because maybe I'm no one no quina what to quadra dear me, you'll be money to be bremmy. To quadra dear me, yet remunamon quina yer or chain, or chain be in quine. Eh, and no dear mood pepper for no mood dim or money jay. Or spices. Remunami and fast spices in moon. Or that be a may because air dainty will fall so pe. Or more pen how I may see young quine or mobile will be sat. That is an iron is saying, iron is saying, Oh, we shall have my miss Cassie, no, my yea, man, nor the coffee. I could send a free, no, I didn't get a canga because I was saying, No, pe. To wash out of my miss can my yea, me a drew down, make a turn on my two be a can home. A banner my yea, no quine or no quine, dear separate, some of the anadia commando, or the coney fee because I was so pepper. But in the fee in the yearning pe, it's you may me a man or the cocher, no corner, and you know, Neja. And men my pa ne pesa nam rem nam ye men ma nam ma men ma pepa men ma di o yom fri mo ye ye e ma no omu pe bet mi huni se bi anani boni ti na omu nto bet men ma ne di omu pepa se se because of a whole di ni nti is omu chano five cities first na na me me start esa me tono omu chano three cities me say five cities ten cities rem nam omu ta topa ne bo ano oso ne bo ano oso a bit of four five cities, a bit of an army fifteen cities. So, after an hour of painstakingly going through the process of preparing the Ochi Ebening Quine, um, the excreta using the excreta of the bush animals to prepare soup, uh, it is now ready. And what is happening now is that this um, young gentleman is collecting the meat from the soup into a special bowl because the woman here will be selling it in the morning for her customers. Taste room. It is very delicious. You see, it's very nice when it gets into your system. And um, as a journalist, I need this every week so that I can be active and all that. Hey. And as you can see, that room it stays longer than any perfume. At least every week I must take an Ochibi Inquine. There is no soup that can be compared to Ochibi Bin Inquine. In fact, the fact that it accompanies you everywhere you go, for like three days, can be smelling it any time, any day, and you feel comfortable doing it. That's one aspect of it that I like so much. Every blessed day, I eat food every day. And Okini, of course, one of the fantastic things that you can ever get. So I don't joke with it. Though scientists often would caution against the consumption of any excreta or fecal matter but the stomach content or the fecal matter of these bush animals have positive reviews. Professor Engman explains why consuming the stomach content of the carcass or what many say is the fecal matter of these bush animals is not harmful but beneficial. It is a delicacy for some. The cooking process sort of kills the microorganisms that will be present in the meat and so in terms of micro microbial safety there is some level of safety yeah because the cooking kills them and then it confers flavor um, you know to the food that is consumed so the way the food is prepared is also important yes so this is key the advice also is that those that are removed from the intestines are that which we advise for consumption if you are interested in consuming that rather than the feces, the pellets that have come out. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Food Chain. It has been very interesting and educating. I'm excited you join us and I hope you join us again next week for another exciting episode of Food Chain. My name is Prince Sapia. See you in our next edition.